coming up on this edition of Southwest TV News. The city of Swift Current has unveiled a new website showcasing Swift Current's history, present, and future. Leader was the place to be for the Father's Day weekend as crowds gathered for the annual Wild West Days. As most eight-year-olds are out playing with friends and engrossed in their daily routine, Robbie McCartney is busy designing his one-of-a-kind t-shirts. The Windscape Kite Festival was another big drawing card for visitors to Swift Current as the annual event kicked off the summer of 2015. Thanks for joining us here today. Hot on the heels of last year's centennial, the city of Swift Current has unveiled another legacy project. We have more in today's top story. The city of Swift Current has unveiled a new website showcasing Swift Current's history, present, and future. The next 100 microsite includes a number of key categories to attract potential new residents and businesses to the city, showcasing the community's heritage and culture, everyday life, business, and more. And of course it started with our centennial project, the idea of a living legacy. So we coupled our heritage knowledge with a part of our growth campaign and this is what we've got. So it's like the past, the present and the future. We're really excited about it. The site also includes various informational links such as job opportunities and video testimonials of individuals from Swift Current. A website project which was contracted out to an Ontario firm for a total of $30,400. Environics is a large marketing firm based out of Toronto and it was actually a chance meeting um, in how we came to connect and so this particular company has a lot of interest in Saskatchewan in particular there's a lot of global interest in Saskatchewan and because they're a large marketing firm I think they just really saw this as a great opportunity to get involved and um, really I have to say they've done it with with us um, in, in a really nominal fee-based manner because I think as you'd mentioned, the innovation and the opportunity here to create a new tool, a new growth tool that could be utilized by many communities to come. So they really saw this as an innovative partnership. Mutkaluk adds that the Swift Current Next 100 microsite will also be promoted through various avenues, such as YouTube and an electronic billboard outside of the Fort McMurray Airport to help draw attention to Swift Current. We made a long list and we are considering many communities that we'd like to target. Um, at this time we're using some very limited budget towards this, so we're trying to be cautious. And I think in light of some of the changes and, and challenges that Fort McMurray is facing, we felt that that might be the most um, beneficial spot to start. Although I think there'll be lots more locations for us to focus on as well. City officials envision the Swift Current Next 100 microsite to expand in the coming years with the hope of including 100 video profiles of local residents calling Swift Current home. Imagine a destination where you can enjoy world-class dining and unique accommodations. Take a leisurely stroll through streets filled with rich history while browsing for that perfect gift. Buy fresh produce from the farmer's market and enjoy a range of cultural events while stepping back in time to learn more about Canada's Old West. Your summer destination is awaiting you in Maple Creek. For event listings and all things Maple Creek, visit our website. The future is here. Saskatchewan's fastest internet with unlimited usage and blazing speeds. Infonet. Watch for it in your neighborhood, only from Saskatel. The community of Leader hosted its annual Wild West Days weekend, and our Southwest TV News crew was there for all of the action. Leader was the place to be for the Father's Day weekend as crowds gathered for the annual Wild West Days. The Saturday lineup included a parade which brought in entries from Leader and the surrounding area, including these Shriners from Medicine Hat. A fun-filled morning which had many of the entrants showing off their support for their favorite team. The theme is Saskatchewan Proud, so you're going to see a lot of Saskatchewan flags, a lot of Rough Rider stuff, a lot of green. And we're all Saskatchewan Proud. The only green we've got out in this part of the country, of course, is what we're wearing because it has rained for a long time, but we're going to have fun anyway. Among those participating in the annual parade was Miss Teenage Western Saskatchewan. Ashlyn Harrington-Gill was born and raised in Leader. 
and is honored to represent her hometown in the upcoming national competition. The first week of August, from the 2nd to the 9th, I go to Toronto. The, actually, the pageant will be live on TV on the 9th. Everyone's been so supportive with me. It's just been amazing. Following the parade, everyone gathered at the Friendship Center for the traditional serving of gribble. This sweet bundo was carefully prepared by a team of volunteers and then deep fried to perfection. Craig Tondevold is the town's mayor and Grebel Friar and says the Grebel gathering is not only a treat for all ages, but a great sign of community pride. It's just something they do every year. I think it's just become a tradition that after the parade we have Grebel here at the Friendship Center. It helps keep their doors open and uh, gives them a little bit of a fundraiser. So we all participate, help in, kick in, and so they can do that. And once covered in syrup and icing sugar, this tasty delicacy was enjoyed by the ever-growing crowd in the hall. The Wild West Days activities continued with a mini trade show at the Leader Community Centre with a wide range of vendors. A softball tournament which attracted a number of players to the Diamonds, followed by an evening dance. Leader's Wild West Days is held every year during the third weekend of June. The last floats were just leaving as the first floats were coming back. It's awesome! Awesome! It's huge! I, biggest I've ever seen. Another exciting season of Market Square returns to downtown Swift Current, featuring live entertainment, fresh garden produce, crafts, and other unique vendors. Market Square, every Saturday at the corner of Central and Chaplin. Proudly presented by the City of Swift Current and Standard Motors, along with Innovation Credit Union and Southwest TV News. Southwest TV News is pleased to partner with our friends over at the Swift Current Salvation Army, PharmaSave and JD AgTech in our ongoing series, Give for Good. In today's feature, we profile a Swift Current boy who's giving back through his artistic talents. I really do hope that as people are watching this video series and hearing other people's stories, they really will observe what's going on in their own lives, uh, see how they are giving for good, look for further opportunities to give for good, and that they will experience all the joys that come from that. I think that uh, sometimes we get too settled in our own space. And if we're doing well in life, financially or whatever, we get very settled in that. So I think it's nice to be able to go out there and, and put yourself out there and help others. When you get someone who real feels emotional over you uh, doing your kindness or doing your act, it, uh, it, really, it really feels good. As most eight-year-olds are out playing with friends and engrossed in their daily routine, Robbie McCartney is busy designing his one-of-a-kind t-shirts a talented young artist who's using his creative skills to bring more joy to the world. An act for drawing, which started at a young age, long before he could verbally communicate. Really, he was very, um, he was late to talk. So he was drawing like from the age of one or, or even earlier, like first thing, first thing, right off the hop, a pen, markers. And so he'd draw, he'd tell stories through his drawings and he really did that, I think, because of his communication challenges. So, so he'd, he'd draw very complex drawings of various, you know, characters, people, goings on, and, and lots of detail, like all in story form. Drawings which now cover the walls of their home and are carefully collected in a series of binders from age one to present day. A process of creating these unique characters and storylines which Robbie explains in more detail. Usually I do the eyes, then I do the mouth, then I do the head, and then I look at a hairstyle that might fit the head, and because all the heads are different shaped. And uh, then I do like a uh, body, and it depends on the face, facial expression of what the body should look like because um, if he's just regular and not happy or sad or mad what I would usually do is draw him slouching if he was excited or mad. And through his passion for drawing a business opportunity has developed for this eight-year-old with a line of t-shirts which all began one rainy afternoon 
when Robbie's mom came home with a craft to occupy his time. Mom got these blank t-shirts and she got tie-dye. But instead of me do, using the tie-dye, it was drawing my regular drawings. And then um, my mom said, this is great. And then what, one t day I went to the Lyric Theater and, um, I, and I said at the end of it, and I'm selling t-shirts at the back, and my mom didn't know that, and so then she was like, what? What started as a mere hobby and a few dozen t-shirts has now spiraled into cases, and the Saskatchewan Abilities Council screen printing the mass orders. And coinciding with the popularity of Robbie's t-shirts and his love for drawing and telling stories is the desire to give something back to those in need. As Robbie sees it, children helping children with a portion of the t-shirt proceeds donated to the Salvation Army. They feed people. They give uh, boys and girls who don't have them in Swift, Saskatchewan um, food and toys and stuff. And that's why uh, every year, me, m Mom and I and Cash, what we do is we pick out some of the toys we're done with and we give them to the Salvation Army. Because some of the toys I don't play with at all and then they're kind of just sitting around. And I think a little girl that doesn't have anything would sure appreciate it more than me. There was a dog named Smitty. He Robbie has also taken his love for drawing and telling stories to the youth group sessions at the Swift Current Salvation Army. Sharing his art, and encouraging others with their creations on paper. And as Robbie shares his stories and tries to bring a smile to another's face, this proud mom can't help but be inspired by her son's message. Like for me, I'm, you know, now I'm a grown up, right? So I'm thinking of things in big, complicated programs and, and world problems and how are we gonna solve this? And we need a think tank and we need the world's experts on it. But really, Robbie reminds me that it may not be that complicated. It really is about sharing happiness, and it can be the smallest seed of happiness that can change somebody's life. And along with his desire to help other children, is Robbie's hope to one day appear on the Ellen DeGeneres show. It's only one reason, because I want my t-shirts to be more popular. And maybe if the t-shirts get more popular, I can donate more to the Salvation Army. Robbie McCartney, an inspiration to all ages, giving for good, one smile and one t-shirt at a time. The prairie skyline outside of Swift Current was filled with an array of colorful kites with the annual Windscape Kite Festival. We bring you some of the highlights in this report. The Windscape Kite Festival was another big drawing card for visitors to Swift Current as the annual event kicked off the summer of 2015. The family oriented weekend provided a fun-filled afternoon for all ages with kite flying and other activities. Kites of all shapes and sizes adorn the prairie landscape with international and local kite flyers taking advantage of the southwest wind. Orlando Onkinko is experiencing his first trip to Canada and one of the highlights was participating in the Windscape Kite Festival. Having flown kites since he was six years of age, Orlando loves the relaxing feeling of flying kites high above the sky, a passion which keeps him on the road for months at a time. All over Asia, I'm the deputy president for the ASEAN Kite Council. It's a 10-country organization and each have their own kite activity, a kite tradition, so I travel every year to its uh, event in Asia and also travel to Europe and the U.S. The first time to Canada. The 2015 Windscape Kite Festival was also a new experience for Nora Zhang from China. Nora has been staying with friends in southwest Saskatchewan for the last month and was overwhelmed by the experience as a spectator and learning to fly the multi-line kites. Oh, we have a lot of cats in China. Since we are three years old, we've been told how to make cats yourself, handmade. And we're flying, and we have some competi competition too. The, uh, in Shandong province, it's a big, big festival. And I never see the cat festival like this. 
the cat never dancing in China. They fly high, uh, never dancing, and do not have teamwork also. Actually, the first one I tried is four nan, and then I tried the two nan. And in China, we all have one nan. Nora also expressed her love of the prairie skyline, yep. as the wide open spaces are something she is not familiar with as she lives in a mountain-filled region of China, and says the prairie skyline is inspiring to her as an artist. And in China, the art is about nuns, so who can draw complex nuns, who is the best? As I believe, as I understand. And here, I figure out the corner. The corner is how changeable. And uh, first, uh, I would think, why they are so good at the country corners. And when I see the sunrise and sunset, I know why. It's a beautiful sky, teach you how to country corners. It's a beautiful, beautiful sky here. The Sass Power Windscape Kite Festival has become a must-see event for local residents and tourists from around the world every June, further shining the spotlight on Swift Current and Southwest Saskatchewan to an international audience. The future is here. Saskatchewan's fastest internet with unlimited usage and blazing speeds. Infonet. Watch for it in your neighborhood, only from Saskatel. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at mylocaltv.ca. And be sure to follow us on a range of social media. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.